like to start my tanning routine the night before and I use the Loving Tan Exfoliating Mitt and just really take off any um, leftover tan from the previous time and just exfoliate the areas that hold on to tan, so like my ankles, my knees, and elbows. After that, I like to go over and just shave all the areas that need to be shaved so that we have a smooth surface to apply the tan with. After the shower, I like to always moisturize my body, so I really concentrate on areas like my wrists, my hands, my elbows, and my knees because these areas normally hold onto the tan a little bit more than the rest of the areas, so you really want to create a little bit more of a barrier here. On to the main part. I'm using the Loving Tan 2 Hour Express in Dark and what I like to do is take a couple pumps of the mousse and just really massage it on the areas that I'm going to be showing and in Northern Ireland we don't really wear bikinis because it's not really super hot here so I just put it on areas that my skin would be showing so I just wear a tank top but you can totally put this anywhere on your body even your face. I don't but that's just preference so I'm just putting it on areas that my skin is showing. I'm using the Deluxe Applicator Mitt, which is so good. It just blends out the formula perfectly. The color of the mousse is the color of the tan, so it's perfect to see exactly where you're going to be putting the tan so that you don't miss any areas on your body. This formula contains high quality active ingredients to achieve a natural brown olive color so you're not left with an orangey red tan. It looks so natural and brown. What I like to do when it comes to my hand area so that I don't get any bad tan lines is using a synthetic fluffy brush, just use an old makeup one if you have one, and just take half a pump of the mousse and blend it all over my hand and it gives such a flawless finish. I like to do the same thing on my chest and neck, but you can use the mitt for this part if you want. I just prefer using a synthetic brush just to give a little bit of a softer natural finish. There is a light floral scent, but I honestly don't even notice it, so it's not offensive in any way. So once your tan has developed, it can last up to 10 days by using a moisturizer to help maintain the tan and to ensure that it fades evenly. Once you have your tan everywhere, it dries really quickly, so if you need to go somewhere, you can do whatever you wanna do. Leave it on for at least two hours for a natural looking tan, but you can sleep in this formula as well for a darker, deeper tan. So I put my timer on for two hours and once it was up, I just hop into the shower and rinse off the top coat of the tan so I'm left with the nice natural looking color. Now onto my favorite part, Loving Tan came out with this bronze shimmer lotion. It came in three colors, medium, dark, and ultra dark. I'm gonna be using dark today and using the same deluxe applicator mitt, I'm just going to be putting it on all of the areas that I've already tanned and this just amplifies your tan with a little bit of a shimmer and gives a blurred airbrushed look to your skin. It honestly is so good. It dries really quickly, so even if you don't have time to tan first, you can just pop this shimmer lotion on by itself if you're going to a party or an event and you don't have time to tan before. This will give you a bronzy airbrushed finish to your skin. With the shimmer lotion, it does wash off with warm soapy water, but if you use the mousse before, you'll still have your tan underneath. This formula contains a hydrating aloe vera base enriched with coffee and pomegranate extracts. So I hope you guys enjoyed my tanning routine. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!